Imagine a dream trip, a journey from gardens to glaciers with something you wouldn't expect in between. One of the world's best wine regions. It's just the beautiful Northwest. It's the mountains, it's the oceans, and uh, coming into the city, the, Vancouver, I find, is a very friendly city. Uh, there's a lot to do. It would be imperative that all people visit Granville Island and take the aqua bus over. Well, Granville Island is Canada's first microbrewery. We've been brewing beers on site here since 1984. We do eight different beers. Every time we get into an area, we look up the breweries online and find the nearby ones. We stop in and try out the brew. The fish is harvested in a sustainable manner. Generally, the quality is much higher than uh, if it's uh, harvested uh, recklessly. I believe that uh, we have built our reputation uh, a lot of it has to do with how we source our products and we, we try very hard to work with local producers, farmers, fishermen uh, to get the best local products available in British Columbia. You cannot just have a wine growing region without the food growing region. This balance, it has to work together. So many of my friends coming to Vancouver and I can only say Vancouver is a great place for food. When we have people come out to Minter Gardens, it's a great experience to uh, witness what BC has to offer in its natural environment, as well as a nice place to just relax and enjoy some peaceful solitude in the gardens. There's this place called Kelowna. It's got orchards. It's got wineries. We don't get a lot of rain. It is actually one of the few deserts in Canada. You can be outside all the time. There's always that healthy family that's walking on the boardwalk or rent a boat and go out in the water, enjoy the scenery from the water. I'm the chef at the El Dorado. Um, I must say that staying on the lake is quite the experience. The landscape, the trees, the buzz that's in the air, the way the sun ripples off the water. There's never a jaded day. One thing that you need to do is to go on a wine tour in Kelowna. There's such amazing wineries here, and it's such a fabulous thing to do. Very, very nice Merlot. Very unexpected to find a Tuscan-style estate winery in the middle of the Okanagan. The trends of today are, what do you grow around you? It's not about what grows in another country, but what does Kelowna grow? There's a lot of talk about the 100-mile diet. Right here in Kelowna, you can actually have a 5-mile diet. You can sit down to an amazing plate of food, all produced from the Okanagan, prepared by a local chef, and enjoyed with a world-class glass of our Okanagan wine. Not many other places in the world you can do that. It's the Okanagan. Everybody's beautiful. The food's beautiful. The people are beautiful. The wine's beautiful. You gotta come and check it out. Okanagan, we have fine food, we have fine wine. It's fabulous. I love it. The thing about the drive from Revelstoke to Lake Louise is it goes through one of the, well, the major transportation corridor in Canada. There was no road to Lake Louise from Bath until 1921. The only way that you could get there to Lake Louise or to Revelstoke was by rail. The drive is amazing and the first thing you notice of course is the scenery. I'd never seen scenery like that coming from the east. It's gorgeous. It's just amazing. You cannot come to the Rockies and not see Lake Louise. Lake Louise is, is an extraordinary landscape of mountains, of glaciers. The scenery is, is some of the best in the world. This is so great, you can't uh, tell in words. <laughs> <laughs>